is to uh, enhance and facilitate the improvement in some of the heritage facilities and activities that go on in Waska Sioux. And George is actually a, a very key person, a key partner in this relationship. Uh, George and the Chamber of, is responsible for um, uh, booking the various events that occur here in the facility. George, maybe just identify some of those things that go on here. In the yeah, thank you, Rick. We, we have a number of events. A lot of weddings are, uh, are held up here. A lot of uh, brides that have lived here or worked here, worked here over uh, their uh, younger years, and they, uh, they really enjoy this hall, and they, they think it's a great place to have a wedding. So we have a number of those. We have a lot of uh, family reunions, uh, meetings, conventions, numerous groups, organizations, corporations. So the hall is really booked quite solidly. It is the attraction for those kind of events up here. Well, the hall, I understand the hall was built, what you see right here in this section was built in probably about 1931. It was built with the work gangs of the Depression. The, uh, they brought the logs in from outside the park and brought them in here and built this uh, by hand. And then the front section past there where they built on the bathrooms was done in uh, early 1980s. But what you see here was, uh, was all built in around the 1931 era. And I don't think much has changed since then other than possibly the, the heating that was put in. And uh, the flooring possibly has been changed. But the woodwork is, is still the same. Um, one of the things that, uh, of course, as you note, this is a log structure. And of course, any of these heritage properties uh, are required to be brought up to a certain standard. We've had some issues over the years with, uh, well, the roof system and bats, of course, that uh, were housed up in the rafters of the roof uh, had to be extricated. And uh, so Parks Canada actually uh, had a budget here of about $275,000 that was used to refurbish the roof system and whatnot. And where the foundation comes in is, as I say, one of our objects is to uh, uh, help support some of these endeavors. And uh, now we raise funds, we are a charitable organization, and we raise funds uh, from uh, citizens in the community of Waska Sioux, and these funds, of course, are allocated to various projects. Now, one of the projects, uh, of course, has been the community hall, because it is used a great deal, and uh, we are re refurbishing the kitchen and uh, we also, on the outside uh, of the facility, there's, uh, which is used quite frequently for various events like pancake breakfasts and whatnot, we built a, uh, <coughs> a, uh, a deck out here and a canopy that was uh, put over top of the facility, uh, a retractable awning, uh, as well as uh, coming up with uh, some new barbecues that, uh, of course, are used to do the, you know, the hamburger cook-offs and so on and so forth. Tell well, us a little bit about some of the mandate of the foundation. Well, we're primarily here as a, as a support to the community to uh, enhance social, cultural, recreational, and environmental, both, uh, well, facilities and activities that go on in the community. And as I identified, the Chamber is one of our partners, as is Parks Canada. And we've had some very generous donations from various members of the community. This is all volunteer work. I mean, all of us who sit on the foundation are all volunteers and all very staunchly committed volunteers. And that's a very unique thing. Uh, I don't think you ever go to a foundation meeting without people being highly enthusiastic. And these people are all, uh, they're all very professional folks and, and uh, put a tremendous amount of effort into ensuring that uh, we, we meet our, our goals. Um, now, the other part I think that's really critical and important, we have people like George who, who's been a real stalwart as well in terms of the things that he does and the chamber does to help support and enhance the things that we do. So we've, we've just been very fortunate in terms of being a close community. Everybody knows one another. So those kinds of ingredients make for a very successful foundation and a successful community. The chamber is, is similar to that. It's, a, it's a, a volunteer board of business owners that, that are here for the, uh, 
to the, the betterment of the community and, and the park and, and visitations. So we have the same philosophies, and, and that's one thing that's positive with, with what's worked uh, with the park and ourselves and the foundation, the coalition, and, and Waska Sioux Community Council. We haven't mentioned them. They're another group yep. that are, are strong supporters of the whole operation up here. So it's a, it's a close-knit, small community, uh, which really is, has pride and, and uh, cherishes this uh, Waska Sioux and the Prince Edward National Park. Yeah, and, and I, I think the other thing that needs to be mentioned too, uh, because whenever you deal with government, of course, there's all of those fr frustrations in terms of dealing with bureaucracy. But I think one of the things that's really been helpful here too is that we've got a good crew of, of federal staff and whatnot that really do make the working relationship happen in a, in a, in a very good way. So, uh, and that's a bit unique, I think. Well, the one thing I think we want to encourage uh, people who are going to be viewing this is, uh, heck, come and visit at Moscow too. I mean, in spite of the rain, there's always things to do. And it's probably one of the most beautiful environments in Saskatchewan. And I think anybody who does come here uh, will appreciate that one. Yes, you have everything. You have a unique town site, the resort kind of area. You also just can walk out and see wildlife and see the nature at its best. So you have everything is the best of all the world here. Thank you for joining us as we've watched another episode of Yes, Gargoyles Do Live in Saskatchewan. My name is Audrey Price and I'm the Provincial Coordinator for the Architectural Heritage Society of Saskatchewan. I want to tell you a few things about us, about what we do to help keep our built heritage for our future generations. We're a nonprofit society supported by SAS Culture and Saskatchewan Lotteries whose main focus is to be the catalyst for education and preservation of Saskatchewan's built heritage. We do this by offering membership in the society to individuals and various organizations across Saskatchewan. We publish the Heritage Quarterly magazine, which highlights stories about Saskatchewan people and their efforts to preserve our built heritage. Members are encouraged to contribute articles and receive the publication as a benefit of their membership. We provide financial incentives to members through grants for the express purpose of keeping our built heritage for future generations. This series is also a part of that process of sharing with Saskatchewan people all the wonderful stories and the places those stories happened in. Thanks for watching another episode of Yes, Gargoyles Do Live in Saskatchewan.